hi everyone welcome back this is madan in this video i'm going to create a repository uh, to uh, store and access data from database using dapper and then we'll be using that repository uh, in uh, inside this product controller product api controller so let's create a class for the repository so i'm going to create a folder here add and then new folder repository let's close this and inside the repository let's create a class product repository dot cs and in our previous demo we installed dapper we created database uh, for our uh, product and then we have created this uh, db connection provider through which we get the connection string or the database connection to our repository so in our repository i'm going to create a constructor here and then inject idb i db connection provider db connection provider connection provider and then we're going to create a field for this let's make it underscore and then first of all we are going to define a method that gets all the data from this product database table so public so this is the list of the product i enumerable product product let's bring in the namespace for the product get all and then first of all let's in put this inside the try catch statement try catch and then let's through the exception through and then we are using we are getting connection from this connection provider so connection provider dot get database connection so this gives us the database connection and in order to use dapper we need to uh, define our custom query our query equal to our query would be select asterisk from products the name of our table it is products and what now <clears throat> what we can do is variable products equal to so we have a connection and then connection has a method called query let's bring in the namespace for dapper connection dot now as you can see we have a query and query with the specific type we have async method so we are going to use this overload and uh, what we are fetching we are fetching product from the database and then we need to pass this query so uh, this passes the select a strict from product query into the database and get all the records from the table and map that record into the list of the product and we can return that product here so we can do is we can return products or we can directly return this statement here return so with this we can fetch all the record from the database table now let's add another method here public and i'm going to make this bool add product uh, let's name this it and in order to add the product we need product from the color of this method and let's repeat the same thing here try catch and then let's throw the exception through and then we are using we are setting up the connection here connection is available from our connection provider dot get database connection and then in order to insert record we need to have a query here so variable query equal to now we need insert query here insert into trds products and we can pass values here now we are passing values as a parameter so we have a we need to pass name as a parameter since the product table has two field id and name and id is auto generated identity field so we only need to pass name to create the product so i'm going to pass name here and then what we can do is 
variable rows affected equal to uh, we have a connection and then we have execute method and this execute method returns the number of rows affected so we can call execute here in order to insert update or delete we can use execute function and then we need to pass query here and what we are going to insert we are going to insert this product now we can pass this product here and what we can do is we can return whether the data has been successfully inserted to the database or not and and that is the boolean since this method returns uh, uh, expect us to return the boolean so what we can do is we can do rows affected greater than zero so if now one row is affected then the product has been inserted or we can directly return this statement greater than zero and remove this now we can do same approach we can follow same approach to update and delete the product so let's rename this update and in order to update we need product here and we need to define the query update product set name equal to at the rate name web id equal to at the rate id and then we are going to execute we are going to use the same statement execute and we pass this query and we pass the product so when we pass the product the name of the product uh, is <coughs> accessed by this at the rate name parameter and its id goes here so we, uh, we can update uh, we can update the old name of the product by the new name where id matches the past uh, one or the id coming from the parameter so this does update and uh, let's write another method for delete so we don't need to pass the whole product to delete when the id is sufficient to delete the product so delete pr -S products where id equal to at the rate id and then so we are not passing the whole product uh, in this query here we are just we are only passing the id so in order to pass only one parameter or multiple parameter and if that is not coming directly in the form of the object then we need to create a new anonymous object here uh, so and then uh, specify the property and the property name should match the name of the parameter here so id is the one coming from the coming as a method parameter so this will delete the product and if the rows affected are greater than zero that means if the product has been deleted from the table it returns true otherwise it returns false so let's remove the unused namespaces and uh, we have injected one <coughs> uh class here so db connection provider this has to be managed through the dependency injection so i'm going to extract the interface for this class here and the interface has been extracted and you can see the interface here with the methods so now let's register this inside our startup.cs here services dot add transient and then our repository is IPL product repository product repository let's bring in the name space so in our next video we are going to inject this project product repository into our product controller and then we will see the end result so thanks for watching friend and have a great day